Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Borzy, and I'm not even gonna like try to not say company names in this video with the glorious O minus and Model D minus launch yesterday or like the early reviews releasing. Um people are asking where mine were. I don't know why. Um I've never gotten a glorious product. I obviously did not expect to get these. Um, but I feel like since I was getting a lot of comments, I should make a video explaining why at least I think I am not getting early mouse samples from really a lot of companies. Um, so first, I just want to take a look at the list of people who reviewed the O- and D- wireless. I'm not calling them out. I don't have anything against them. But this is an objective biological fact. They are all significantly older than me. Uh, fuck, that's so funny. Um, but yeah, you can see all of these reviewers, most of them, I would say, I'd say everybody is 10 years on me. Um, so that is one thing to consider. There may be some ageism at play. I'm not calling anybody out, um, but I am younger. What do we know about young people? We tend to be loose cannons per se. And what I'm getting at with this point is that when you're sending out a product early, when the product only launches for pre-orders and it's not gonna be in customer hands for like two months, let's say, maybe even a month, um, there is a risk in sending it out to a reviewer who could give you a negative review. And to help lower the risk, there are some things you can do as a company that are mutually beneficial to you and the reviewers. Um, one thing is just early launches, like basically giving reviewers a monopoly on the views for the product. And then on top of that, having affiliate programs where let's say, an $80 mouse, um, you get a five or a 10% commission with your affiliate link you can put in the description at no cost to the viewer. Um, just click on this sponsored link and I get money, but that's not affecting my opinion, you can trust me. Um, obviously, and this is the case for me, I join affiliate programs as well, um, but me being younger, I am not a career reviewer, I fucking live at home and go to college. Um, the money from an affiliate program doesn't really matter as much to me as giving a solid review and continuing to build my reputation on that. And I just wanna make this abundantly clear that even if you are in a program and getting sent out the product early when it's only available for pre-order, that does not necessarily mean that you are going to be biased um, you are just put in a position where you like get a major advantage if you are financially um, for channel growth I mean really if you give a negative review um, it will probably get around the same views as a positive one but then you also risk the company not sending you another product and then also there goes all of that affiliate money and I feel like I have to keep clarifying things in this video because it's just like not a normal type of video that I make um, but when I say biased, I don't mean like just hard shilling the product. It can be something as little as just leaving out a little flaw you experienced because you don't want to take away from like the greater picture of what you think is a good product. There are just all sorts of like minor things um, where you can sugarcoat a product, like brush off some of the issues, like hype it up in some aspects, um, because really you won't get called out on it when there is only a small batch of people who have the mouse. And the reason I took time to explain this is because even with all of these precautionary risk aversion measures that companies have in place for the like reviewers, I'm still too much of a risk for a lot of companies, I feel, at this point. And I personally just look at this as an unfortunate reality of my channel. There's not much I could do about it unless I was to just totally change my style into like a company pleasing, glorified advertisement type of review. Um, and I'm just not going to do that. So I will continue to be a retail unit reviewer. Um, until the companies decide to start sending me products or maybe just forever, who really knows. Um, but yeah, in regards to the D minus wireless and O minus wireless, um, I'll put in a pre-order today and that means I'll get the mouse eventually. Um, so that's really awesome. It's a great timeline for the review. That's really gonna be all for this video. I don't want it to be taken the wrong way and have it seem like I'm a victim of any kind. Um, I just know that companies would rather not have a product launch ruined um, by a few negative reviews when the product is only up for pre-order. It is really simple to me. Um, I explained a bit of like the reviewer company relationship stuff. I could go way deeper on that, but I don't really feel it's necessary. Um, but yeah, that's going to be all for this video. Like and sub if you want to see the real honest raw mouse reviews. Um, and yeah, peace. Have a good day.